In this video, we're going to be discussing the refinement of activity diagrams within SysML. We're going to use Cameo as our tool, and we're going to show two different activity diagrams, one with a lower level of refinement and one with a higher level of refinement. So we get started. Before we start with the activity diagrams, we have to understand the breakdown of our system. Our example here is a pizza store, and it's broken down into several different subsystems, the staging area, the pizza oven, the boxing area, the warming rack, and the checkout area. So moving forward, we have our first pass at the activity diagram. And what, what we see here is we have a bunch of control flows and no object flows. So this is what I would start with when I'm thinking about how to break down the pizza creation process. So I'll just go ahead and run this in simulation so that uh, we can see how it works. So we receive the phone call requesting pizza, enter pizza details into the computer system, spread out the pizza dough into the correct size and thickness, add the correct sauce, add the correct toppings, bake in the pizza oven. The customer is arriving at this point. We put the pizza in the box, slice the pizza, put the pizza in the warming rack. Once both of these have happened, both tokens flow to this join node. The customer pays for the pizza, the customer is given the pizza, and the customer can walk out with his pizza and the process is complete. So what's wrong with this? What do we what do we want to do going forward? We don't have item flows and so we need to refine it to have item flows. Um, additionally, there's some little issues with this customer arrives uh, situation where it arrives immediately once we start this um, activity. You can see that from the beginning it goes to the customer arrives block, which is not necessarily true. I mean, the activity, the customer doesn't necessarily arrive right after he's received, right after he's called in requesting the pizza. So we just need to show that in greater detail. So that's how we got here. So this is our more refined view. Um, so we've got uh, digitize and print the order. Um, we'll go ahead and run this in simulation as well. So order comes in, digitizing the order, create the pizza from the ingredients, cook the pizza, box and slice the pizza, holding for the customer. The cust this is the item flow. The customer arrives and pays. So this time we're actually waiting for the customer to arrive. So we're waiting for that. He arrives and pays, and now he can receive the pizza and leave. So this actually allows him to pay before he's received it. So if we push play here, and I can go ahead and push payment. So it's basically that this payment signal is the same as uh, he's already paid. And now it automatically uh, goes together once the pizza has been put on the warming rack. So you can see that it's a little bit better um, flow for this activity. So now we might ask, hey, now that we've got this from a pizza standpoint or a pizza um, store standpoint, maybe we want to see the customer view standpoint. So we may have to go up a level with our BDD. So we have our pizza store, which is what we saw before, but now we want to see our customer and how a customer relates to the pizza store. So now we've got this pizza store context that we made, and you'll see how uh, if we make one more activity diagram, how everything kind of comes together. So that's what we're seeing here. So I'm going to stop my activity. This is the same activity that we saw back here and essentially we're adding a wrapper to it, which is the customer. So I'm gonna go ahead and push play on this. I'll slow it down a little bit. So the customer, this is the customer swim lane. This is the pizza store swim lane. So he's driving to the pizza place while he calls the pizza and gives the order. And now it's going into this block right here, which is this entire activity. This activity is being performed. Let's, he is ready at the pizza place at this point, and he's sending the signal to pay for the pizza. So because it didn't take him very long to drive there in this specific um, simulation, he beat he beat the uh, pizza being made. So um, that's why the, the pays for pizza was sent before the warming rack, the pizza made it to the warming rack. Um, if you wanted to make this this drive time way longer, you would see that it still works out 
the logic still works out that it would sit here and wait on the warming rack for the pay for pizza uh, signal to occur and then be received, customer arrives and pays before it's handed to the customer. So I hope this example helped. Thank you.